I'm on the top of a parking garage in Virginia Beach, Virginia, down at the oceanfront. And you know what I'm doing today? I'm going mobile. Stick around. <laughs> Today I'm going mobile at the top of a parking garage at the oceanfront in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I'll be using the Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet 1000 and the HF Man Pack Collapsible Whip. This thing is 112 inches long. It'll be on top of my car with a mag mount. Okay, here's today's setup. Got my mag mount. I've got the Wolf River Coils Silver Bullet 1000 and I've got the military style Man Pack Whip antenna, collapsible whip. Let's go see what it'll do. Okay, we're set up, and today I'm bringing the heat, baby. I brought the amplifier with me. I've got my Zygu G90, and I've also got it hooked up to my Zygu XPA 125B 100 watt amplifier. First time I've gone portable with an amp, so this should be fun. Stick around, let's see what happens. Right out of the gate with the first QSO, I had an issue, and it wasn't with the antenna. A QSL, QSL, I'm running 100 watts here with a little uh, amplifier here next to my uh, Zygu G90 here in the car. Okay, well, you're five and four, five and five. Uh... Um, right now, I just cut the amp off. I'm only running, I, I went up to 20 watts on the transceiver there. Do you notice any difference? Yes, uh, you went up to a five and seven, over. Okay, on that first QSL, I was getting high reverse power on my amp. Uh, I got pretty short... Uh, Co coax to this uh, Wolf River coil and the mag mount up there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have a uh, a choke, a one-to-one -one ballon. I'm going to put that on and we'll see if that helps the situation. Okay, I keep getting the high reverse power on the amp. So you know what? The amp's going in the bag. We're just going to work 20 watts. With just 20 watts, this thing performed very well. I had QSOs into Minnesota, Kansas, Texas, and Florida. And what was really amazing was the signal report I was getting. Conditions weren't very good on 40, 20, and 17 this day, so I tried it on 15 and 12, and man, what a surprise. I was booming on 15 into Texas and had DX into Italy on 15 and Belgium on 12 meters. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar. This is Kilo 5 Charlie, the Shuttle Columbia Special Event Station. Uh, can I please get a signal report and your first name, please? Yes, yes. Uh, the name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango, and you are a 5'8 into Virginia Beach. Roger that. You're a solid 5'9, and I'm in Nacogdoches, Texas. That's Nacogdoches, Texas. Uh, this is Go for Oscar, I believe. Roger. Uh, QSL K4 OGO. Overall, I made about 12 contacts in just under two hours on 20, 17, 15, and 12, all with some real good signal reports. Well, this thing's definitely a keeper. I cannot wait to use it on the beach. Man, that was great. Um, I was really surprised. I thought 20 and 17, getting down here early is early morning. I would catch DX or whatever, but that really didn't happen. And I used a 112-inch, that whip I have is 112-inch, the Wolf River... Um, the one that comes with it and the one they recommend is 102 inches. So it was 10 inches longer. And they also say in order to use uh, 12 in uh, 10 meters, you need a shorter whip. Well, that wasn't the case for this 112 inch whip because 15 and 12 were my two best bands and I tuned them well. I mean, with the uh, 15, I was about five clicks from the very top. So I was using the coil and 12 meters, I was two clicks for almost at the end. But uh, I couldn't get it to tune 10. The thing tuned every band from 80 all the way to 12. 
um, band conditions were just not where I could use the other bands. But I mean, I did make contacts on 20 and 17. And when I did, man, I was getting, you know, people were just telling me I was booming. So, hey, I love this thing. The Wolf River Coils. If you want something to load up an antenna, this is the one you want because I'm, I'm highly impressed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. I'm Walt K4OGO73.